Hello from Baltimore, from a very tired girl. I have been up since 2 a.m. I think I slept three or four hours, which I didn't expect anything different. Um, but I am in Baltimore visiting Justin. He's been up here working. Um, and this has actually been the first time that he's been um, with the job he's obviously with now that it's worked out where I've been able to go somewhere that he's working. So just here for a long weekend. Um, I think it's gonna be fun. This is one of the places that he works a lot. Um, I'm gonna go out and about for a little bit. He's still at work right now, but we're gonna go have some fun. Um, don't really plan on getting into anything too much today. Um, there's an aquarium, there's the harbor. Y'all know in true Allison fashion, <laughs> there's a TJ Maxx that I'm gonna go scope out for some Disney Baba Bar stuff. Um, but I figured I'm gonna fix myself a little, so I figured I would chat with you guys and tell you what I'm planning on doing while I'm getting ready. Lay down for a minute, rested, um, and I'm just gonna look a little bit presentable. Um, so yeah, I flew Southwest this morning my flight, I boarded at 5.50. Um, I was actually at the airport really early. I don't know if it's just because there was no traffic, like no traffic, um, no line and security. I've never been here. Dang, forgot my powder brush. Oh well, never been here before. Um, Justin works here, like I said, a lot. And uh, so far, <laughs> It's been fun. On the flight, I actually sat next to this couple um, that was really nice. They were coming. Their son lives up here, and they were going to his house to have, like, Mother's Day brunch. I know this seems, like, odd, but y'all, if you put me next to somebody that will talk to me, we literally talked the whole flight. I think I fell asleep for, like, 20 minutes at one point, but as soon as I woke up, they were talking to me again. Um, the man... His name, what was his name? Oh, I think it was Ben and Kathy. Um, so that was super fun. I really enjoyed that. He was an engineer. They're retired now, but they were just flying to their kids for the weekend um, for like Mother's Day brunch. So I thought that was super fun. Um, chatted with him. He was telling me some things to do. Um, I did rent a car. So Justin has like a a work truck or whatever, but we're talking about going to Pennsylvania Sunday and I don't think we could take it that far, but y'all, a Mustang. I'm in a convertible. Oh, can you see me now? I'm in a convertible Mustang. So this trip, I never just go anywhere and wing it. So I don't have anything to do. Like I just came to see Justin because he's been gone for longer than normal. Got to the airport. It's fine. The Baltimore airport's not very big. Um, it's no bigger than the one in New Orleans. And originally, I'm like, oh, I'll just go rent a car. There's literally like eight different car rentals. Um, I had read online a little. Couldn't decide if I wanted to reserve anything. I'm like, I'll just walk up. Whatever I can get, I'll get it. If I can't get it at Enterprise, I'll just go somewhere else. So, go to Enterprise. Do y'all take walk-ups? He said, we do, but we're out of cars. I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. Um, walk over to something I've never heard of. It's called Sixth, or it's I don't know. You know, nobody's over here. This is either a good sign or a bad sign. Walk up to the girl. Hey, you know, I, I didn't have a reservation. I was deciding I was just gonna wing it today, and she's like, "Yeah, girl, we don't have a lot left. Apparently, there's a soccer tournament." Um, and with the soccer tournament are lots of families because it's Mother's Day weekend, like a kid's soccer tournament. So that was my bad, but I've never gotten to go anywhere and just like wing it, like just do whatever. So I said, okay. She tells me the price of the Mustang. Wasn't bad. Um, I know I could just Uber, but I wanted to be able to like go wherever I wanted, whatever I wanted, and just honestly kind of explore around. Um, because Justin's talked to me a lot about just how it is up here and I, I just want to see. There's lots of things to do, but I also just kind of want to go look at stuff. Um, 
So kind of decided, yeah, you know, I do kind of want a rental car. We'll go that route, cool. I have looked at like Turo and things like that. My only thing with Turo here, I was having trouble finding one that they would bring to me because um, I didn't want to have to go to a certain location or anything like that. I know that normally that's kind of how they do it, but really just wanted it to be delivered. Had trouble finding that. But I'm in a convertible Mustang. I've never driven a Mustang and I actually really like it. I'm probably going to go to Chick-fil-A right now. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Probably going to go to Chick-fil-A. Wander around. I want to go to a 7-Eleven. I know, exciting things. There's like all this historic stuff around me and I'm, I told Justin I just really wanted to get a 7-Eleven Slurpee. I don't call them Slurpees unless I'm talking about 7-Eleven either. So we're going to do that. I'll bring it along. See what I can see. We're going to check out the TJ Maxx. Um, as soon as I get to anything that is cool, I'll show y'all. Um, but until then, I'm going to go put my shoes on. We're going to get the keys. We're going to go get some food, maybe some coffee, and who knows what else. Let's go. All right. If you thought this was going to be a travel vlog, you're sadly mistaken. There's something on my lens. Hold on. There's a big, huge Burlington, and I'm really hoping they have some Disney Park stuff in there. There's also, um, like an Ollie's. I think there's one of those in Hattiesburg. It's like a thrift store. Not, not like a thrift store, like a fancy dirt cheap. So, who knows? Might wander in there. Um, I do want to check out, like I said, I, I just want to go to 7-Eleven because I've never been. Um, and who knows what else. I might go to the harbor today. I was going to go to the aquarium, but I'm feeling a little bit tired. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll find something interesting to check out. Sorry. I'm looking around. Another thing is these windows aren't tinted and I'm super used to um, my car. The windows are really tinted. So I feel like a fish in a, in a fish tank, but let's go see what we can find. Day two. I don't have a lot of footage from yesterday of things that I did, but Justin got off of work a little earlier than he thought he would. Um, so it didn't really, also I'm getting ready. Um, I didn't really film a lot because I mostly just rode around and looked. Um, today I debated on if I was going to drive to DC or not. Um, I don't think I am right now. Um, yesterday I was kind of just content driving around looking. Um, there's a decent amount of red lights, so I feel like fairly often I could stop and look. I snapped a few really bad pictures, um, because like I said, I mean, obviously, I was just at the red light. I do not want to live in a city, but I do enjoy visiting them. Um, that's one thing I never thought I would like, since obviously, I mean, we kind of live in the middle of nowhere a little bit, and I basically always have, um, but I do really enjoy visiting cities. All right, I am dressed. I have um, my parking pass or whatever reserved. I went ahead and bought my ticket online. Um, we're gonna go. I'm excited. Like I said, I was planning on going to DC today, but with the weather and everything, and I think that Justin's gonna be off work at like two or three o'clock. I don't know that we'll go this evening, but if I ask him enough, he might go with. So we'll see. But basically, I probably won't film because I'm going to be driving in downtown Baltimore. Um, but once I get in the garage, I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. I stinking love aquariums. Like, zoos are fun, but aquariums are where it's at. Because I was going to go to the Smithsonian Zoo. Um, but we're going to hit the aquarium instead. I can't wait. I heard this one's supposed to be really good. I also really want to go to the aquarium in Atlanta. So, bucket list things. I keep feeling like someone's like knocking at the door, but I think it's just because I'm in a hotel. Anyway, I get like nervous, but let's go. Wish me luck. It's only like seven miles, but it takes like 20 minutes to get there in traffic. Let's do this. So we made it inside. Of course, I forgot my mic and it's super noisy, but so far, really cool. Um, I haven't even really made it to any exhibits yet but they have this big like reef area I guess 
is what it's called when you come in. I've never seen them that big. They're huge. So parking was not my favorite, but I did make it in garage and I think it's the right one. We're gonna see when I try to leave. If I was a shark, I'm gonna be this one. Just resting. So this is definitely the coolest Marshalls I've ever been in. Um, I did finally find some bubble wear clips. They had two, so naturally I got one for me and for Courtney. Um, but yeah, just had to show y'all. Just in here to try not to buy stuff because I did not check a bag. Action. Good morning from Pennsylvania. I'm not recording, by the way. Justin is here. Um, we are going to Hershey Park. Uh, yesterday, I got a lot of footage at the aquarium, but I didn't talk a bunch because it was very crowded in there. Um, but that was fun, and I walked around downtown Baltimore a little bit while Justin was at work. Um, and he actually got off pretty early yesterday. So last night, we went to an AMC that was super old, but we got to see Guardians, which was fun. Um, and now... We are taking a little baby road trip today. I've never been to Pennsylvania. Um, you've only been here for work. I always just wanted to see, I don't know. I like to travel and go to different places and just check it out. So uh, we will bring you guys along. I'm not sure if we've decided like, are we doing Hershey Park or are we just doing like the chocolate world or whatever, but Either way, I'll show you guys, and if you point it, you can show them where we're at right now. It's pretty here. Um, haven't really seen too much yet, but we have only been here like three minutes, so as soon as I see something fun, I'll show you guys. We are in Chocolate World. Going to the ride. It's a little crowded, but not too bad. I feel like we're at Disney, <laughs> but there's no way because there's like nobody in line. We have a lot of cool like facts and stuff on the wall that we might come back and look at shortly. I'm trying to decide what my first snack is gonna be. What kind of snack? Hey everyone, welcome aboard the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Tour. For your safety, please remain. We're in Pennsylvania where my favorite YouTuber's from, so I feel like I have to say, anywho, let's go do this. Oh no, we're going in the roaster. Look at 
Look at all those beans. I was about to say, I was like, oh, toasty. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. My Hershey's milk chocolate special dog box. Hey, <laughs> don't forget about Reese's peanut butter cups. My personal favorite. Same. My as a favorite. Mine are Hershey's kisses. So much chocolate. Oh, look at the kisses. Thanks, uh, Alex. It's so sweet. You know, when I was little, I had a friend that made Hershey's kisses. That's actually kind of terrifying. I like her. She's cute. <laughs> Wanna go for some chocolate? She's chocolate. chocolate. I feel like we're just at all friend Disney. It's not bad. There's no mouse. I definitely want to try strawberries and cream. So the chocolate chips, they have all kinds of different ones. Um, there's cinnamon. Cream cheese. Ah, with the, these would be super yummy and like pancakes. They have some of the regular stuff, like Reese's and things like that. So we just finished Hershey's Unwrap. Having a snack. I think it's 12. Yeah, 12.30. I was kind of hungry and needed something besides chocolate, but this was super cute. Um, and now we're having a, like a mac and cheese loaded bowl, something that wasn't chocolate. Then after this, we're going to build our own candy bar. So, so far, it's super fun. We just are waiting on our chocolate bar. Like chocolate chips. I did not put pretzels. Did you get those? Yeah, I did. Are they cool? There's a lot. <laughs> Dude, that is that's one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen. I mean, second to you. Oh, I thought it was safe to pick it up. Man. Chocolate World, yeah. Um, so we didn't currently get tickets to go into like the park side of it, but Justin's probably gonna want to kick me in the kneecap. I don't ever want anybody to complain about the price of Disney again. <laughs> um, this was fun and I'm glad that we came. A lot of it, like I never thought I would be in this area. Um, it's obviously a lot of chocolate going on in there, but I hope you can hear me over this little speaker thing. Um, basically, we didn't pay to park to go into Chocolate World, but the two tours that we did, we did the unwrapped, unwrapped, Hershey unwrapped, and what was the other one? We built her, yeah. So I mean, that was cool because we got to customize our bar and like it comes in a fancy little tin. That was 97 bucks for both of us. 
I mean, the unwrapped tour was like $18 a person. The other one was a little bit more, but I mean, I would rather come and build my own bar out of the two of those experiences, but the Hershey Unwrapped was honestly longer than the Build Your Own Bar, and it was neat. Um, but if we were going to go into the park, we would have to, what was it, 20 bucks to park maybe? Um, and then... I want to say, I don't remember the exact hours, but it's open like uh, 10 or 11 to 6, so it's not like the longest time, but it'd be for stressful. So basically, if we did both of them, it'd be 200 bucks almost, so I'd rather save that 200 for Orlando, but that's just me. They have chocolate lightsabers. Can we get one? Will they let me bring this on the plane? Okay, I don't think I ever finished showing everything that we got at um, World of Pershing. We did the, like, make our own chocolate bars. Um, they had this, like, background that honestly, whoop, you can make it whatever color you want. So, obviously, I made mine look like Epcot. Um, but it has that, it has the date and stuff on it. This will be super neat to keep. And then it comes in a little tin. Um, and then this is my chocolate bar. I don't know if I'm going to open it right now because I feel like we've eaten a lot of chocolate today. We've got some other stuff to taste because I leave tomorrow morning and Justin leaves Wednesday night. Um, so I'm honestly just going to stick this in our Hershey's chocolate bag and hope that they don't say anything about it. Um, and this is Justin's candy bar. So you get to make your own wrapper. You can't like upload a picture or anything, but you can design it how you want. This is what we have to taste tonight. Even though I'm very full, I feel like. Um, I got the Hershey's strawberries and cream bar. So, they had a few flavors, I think I showed them, that were out, that are specifically only there right now. And I think they have these little ice cream shaped bars on them. Um, I'll show you all this in a minute. Me, I might get Justin to sit with me. I grabbed these Reese's snack cakes um, because I've never seen them before. So, I didn't want to just get regular candy because that's, a lot of it was there, except I did get a pack of Reese's. Reese's, Reese's. Now I'm saying Reese's because that's what they all say, but I always say Reese's. What do you call them? Reese's. Reese's. Yeah. They're all saying Reese's. <laughs> anyway, um, I know this sounds kind of dumb, but all the chocolate there, I swear, did taste like more fresh. Um, so that's why I was curious to see how these taste. But, but tomorrow should be interesting. I know I've been recording a little bit whenever I'm um adventuring around i have to return the rental car and then get on a shuttle from the rental car place back to the airport and then get in the airport so it should be fine my flight i think i bored it like 11 something which isn't bad but um this car rental facility i got on it straight up was like a disney parks bus but I got on a bus and they shuttle you it was like maybe eight minutes away um which I walked basically straight onto the shuttle I don't even really think I had to wait but apparently they run every 10 minutes so we're gonna see it should be interesting um but we might taste test some candy in a minute we should start with the strawberries and cream they had several of these but this one I don't know I feel like I've never really seen the candy bar this flavor. So I think this is supposed to be like a white chocolate bar. Let's take the whole thing out. Oh, it's cute. It's got little ice cube cones. So. Very strawberry. I like it. It's definitely, I mean, it doesn't really taste like chocolatey. But I didn't necessarily expect it to. It's different. I like it. I would rate it probably an 8. 
But I don't really like strawberry stuff. I'm gonna say seven. It's good. Okay, now we've got the Reese's snack cakes. I think these are gonna be really rich. I don't even think we're gonna finish them tonight because, like, y'all, we've had so much dessert. I it's, like. hard, it's hard to eat anything right now. It's a pretty decent size. There's like two in a pack. I'll give you the bigger, bigger half. It's definitely, it's got like a layer of peanut butter on the top and some chocolate cake. I actually really like that. I'm kind of mixed on it. Like, I like it, but part of me would rather just have a peanut butter cup. It's almost like a brownie with a peanut butter cup right on top of it. But when I say a brownie, it is dry. It's a, mm. I don't think it's like a real moist. It's not, but I don't think it's dry. But I feel like if it... I don't know, I didn't expect it to be chewy. I'll give that a 9. I liked that. But I always make fun of Justin because everything, he says everything is dry to me. Like, I will think stuff isn't dry and he's like, that's dry. So, what would you give that one? Seven. It's good. I mean, I ain't dislike them. I just would rather just have a peanut butter. Cup. I mean, I swear that they either, I'm crazy or they taste different. So, these are just regular. I'm going to eat one because I'm I have good. to know. I'm good. But, regular Reese's Cup. I don't think that triple cheeseburger helped either earlier. Yeah, I'm not. Mm -mm, that's too much. Um, okay, but you see what I'm saying? Like, this is fresh. She ain't even sticking to the paper. You know what I'm talking about? Like, when they've, like, settled in there? I like it was sticking a little bit. But on the bottom and everything? It's just the chocolate. Like, the texture of the chocolate is different. They taste the same. They feel fresh. It was fun. I would definitely say go. Um, Hershey, the Hershey World or Chocolate World or whatever. Um, that's fun too. If you don't want to go into the park just to go and see. And you don't have to pay to do the tours. Like the little ride and stuff is free. Um, would you rather do the Build Your Own Chocolate Bar or the Unwrapped Tour? Build Your Own Chocolate Bar. Yeah. The Unwrapped Tour, I mean, I would do it. And I feel like if you have a larger party I, I wish, would probably I, I, wish, I wish the unwrapped had more variety of stuff than what they give you yeah so I think I showed the boxes but you just get and I mean it was enough but we got milk chocolate dark chocolate cookies and cream caramel and just a regular Hershey kiss which I liked but I was hoping like the taste what did they kind of says it said it as a taste tour, I was expecting like... It'd be cool if it was something like different Hershey's bars from around the world or something like that. I expected like flavored Kit Kats or how we had the strawberries and cream bars. So it was fun and I would do it and I'd recommend it. But I was expecting something a little more adventurous. But they definitely do have some things in the store that I've not seen other places. They have a lot of like just Reese's and stuff like that. I wasn't going to buy regular chocolate while we were there. Like, we were walking around and we're like, do we get something for people or what? Yeah, everything looked like stuff you could buy out of a gas station. It's all, like, just regular chocolate, except for, like I said, they had the snack cakes and little things like that. And, but, the, giant, and the giant candy. Yeah. But then I'm like, you can even, I feel like I've seen giant candy, like, at Cracker Barrel and stuff like that. So, it's fun. Definitely worth a stop if you're in the area. Um, but, yeah, we're just probably going to go sit because... There's a lot of calories consumed mm -hmm. today.